Welcome back, Joseph Kendo here. I'm sure many of you are familiar with the Hydra. If not, then you definitely should be, because it scores itself as one of the most unique weapons in Resident Evil history, both by its mechanics and exotic design. The most distinctive trait of the Hydra can be derived from its name, the legendary three-headed serpent of Greek mythology, but in our case, the three-barreled shotgun. The Hydra's design resembles the iconic sawed-off double-barrel shotgun we see in movies and video games alike. Wood furniture, side-by-side -side barrels, and a break action. But it features only a single trigger, implying the Hydra fires one barrel at a time, or all three barrels at once, depending on the game it appears in. At the front of the gun, we see a laser module that has been retrofitted onto the handguard with a wooden spacer and tape. It begs us to question how it stays in place in any calibrated fashion without flying loose during function and operation. With the Hydra being such a ludicrous concept as it is, plus this method of mounting the laser to the shotgun, it makes us wonder, who was the crazy mind behind this? As for a real-world counterpart for the Hydra, we can most likely turn our eyes over to the John Dixon & Son side-by-side triple-barrel shotgun. This shotgun is 16 gauge with three barrels, and unlike the Hydra, features three triggers instead of one. Maybe someone at Capcom decided that it would be cool to cut down one of these triple barrel shotguns and let the players decimate whoever stands in their way. The only way to see how well the design holds up is by putting it to the test. The Hydra made its debut in the series with Resident Evil 5, only obtainable as an in-game weapon. It's unlocked after you complete the story mode and then fully upgrade the Ithaca Model 37, which then makes the Hydra available in the shop to purchase for 30,000 gold. The weapon is also usable in the Mercenaries game mode by Stars Wesker and Road Warrior Chris. It should be mentioned that Chris and Wesker are the only wielders of the Hydra that choose to hold this shotgun extended with one arm, which really emphasizes the power behind the beast. The amount of strength it would take to control that recoil is of superhuman levels. The Hydra stands as the most powerful shotgun in Resident Evil 5. With a widespread and a fast fire rate, it blasts the Ithaca, the M3, and Jailbreaker out of the competition. With that said, one of the downsides to the Hydra is that it reloads the slowest of the four shotguns. But since you can bypass the reload animation completely by quick reloading from the menu, that's nearly irrelevant. Even though it's a triple barrel shotgun, the game lets you carry upwards of 10 shells in the chambers. You just gotta use your imagination for this one, as we clearly only see three barrels to hold three rounds. Whether the Hydra is the best weapon in Resident Evil 5 is debatable, but we sincerely believe it's the most fun weapon to use. With the one arm aiming, over the shoulder view, and a handful of enemies, it becomes the most effective last minute option to clear the view into safety, with each blast feeling like a moment of relief. With such a bold appearance in Resident Evil 5, fans would be thrilled to see the Hydra's return in the series' subsequent releases. In Revelations 1, the Hydra is only obtainable after completion of the campaign on normal difficulty or higher. It can be found in the item box for a New Game Plus playthrough. As for Raid Mode, it's featured in both Revelations 1 and Revelations 2's respective Raid Modes. Unlocked at random points as stage completion rewards, it's just a matter of time and luck before you have it in your hands in this bonus mode. The performance of the Hydra in these two games is mediocre at best. The characters in the respective games don't hold it in any special fashion, and it doesn't come close to its performance in Resident Evil 5, but it's still pretty fun to blast away your enemies with. Further in the timeline, with the events of Resident Evil 6, we get introduced to a new character in the series the U.S. Secret Service agent Helena Harper. Right after being introduced to her, you will find the Hydra in her inventory from the very start of the game, which seemingly already breaks the cardinal rule that has been set by previous titles, that the Hydra be an unlockable weapon. Throughout the franchise, the Hydra has kept the same appearance through and through, but in Resident Evil 6, the weapon gets its own specialty ammunition, chambering 10-gauge shells this time around. If you thought the weapon's performance was underwhelming in the Revelations games, Six has only really pushed it down even further. They somehow made the Hydra the least effective shotgun and the easiest one to obtain, all while making its new 10-gauge ammunition relatively scarce throughout the game. What makes the ammo scarcity even worse is that the Hydra has an unlocked fire rate, 
meaning you can blast those three shots away as fast as you can pull the trigger. Why they gave the Hydra to Helena in the first place is beyond our comprehension. A Secret Service agent armed with an almost mythical triple barrel sawed off shotgun is pretty ridiculous, even for Resident Evil standards. Maybe it was some form of fan service. Who knows? The impact the Hydra had in Resident Evil 5 did not solely come from the weapon's design, but how well it handled, its role as an in game unlockable, and the mystique of the weapon's placement in universe. They made the weapon feel like a gift from hell, the contraption of a mad gunsmith who brilliantly designed a slaughter machine, a weapon that took a godlike figure to handle. In Resident Evil 6, it's just treated like one of the other guns, but with mediocre performance. The Hydra is a gun that may get overlooked if people didn't get to experience the magic it had in Resident Evil 5. Whatever your opinions may be about that game, or the direction it took, I recommend you cast that aside, even for just a little bit, and find a co-op partner to play through it with, enough to experience the Hydra in its truest form. So, that's it for this triple-barreled shotgun, the Hydra, a legendary weapon named after the legendary serpent of Greek mythology. Be sure to check out the Kendo Gun Shop Instagram page at kendo.gunshop. We also have a brand new Discord server if you'd like to chat with myself or Robert behind the counter. All of the links will be in the description down below. If you'd like to help the Kendo Gun Shop expand its business past Raccoon City, we've started a Patreon if you'd like to support us there. But also, feel free to share this video with your friends and help spread the word, or leave a comment on what guns from the series you'd like to see a video on next, and make sure to come back and visit us at the gun shop for more content about the firearms of Resident Evil.